You're watching Truth vs. Hype. Communal tensions in Uttar Pradesh have come to a boiling point, turning Muzaffar Nagar into a ghost town. Lives lost, homes destroyed, thousands of people turned into refugees. Over the next 30 minutes, we investigate how divisive political agendas and a criminally incompetent state government combined to turn an isolated instance of violence into one of Uttar Pradesh's worst ever riots in recent memory. Even before we reached the village of Kawal, where the tinderbox of Muzaffar Nagar was lit, we had heard the popular version of the story, that on 27th August, a young man from here, Shah Nawaz, was harassing the sisters of two Jat boys, Sachin and Gaurav, from a neighboring village. Sachin and Gaurav stabbed Shah Nawaz in the middle of Kawal. In retaliation, the village beat the young men to death brutally. Man road Man Only the last part is true. The rest is contested. Sachin's sister says she never met Shanavaz but it only heard he was a thug. Shanawaz's father says his son was not a thug and that the boys had clashed over an accident. And शानवाज़ <laughs> और काफी ऐसे और किस्से हुए हैं सिर्फ उसकी बहन के साथ नहीं और भी लोगों के साथ लड़कियों के साथ छेड़खानी की है कोई किस्सा नहीं सब गलत है सब गलत है एट द कवाल पुलिस स्टेशन वी आर टोल्ड दैट नाइदर ऑफ द टू एफआईआरस रजिस्टर्ड फॉर सचिन एंड गौरव और फॉर शानवाज़स डेथ रेफर टू वुमेन बीइंग हैरेस्ड के जो एफआईआर गौरव एंड सचिन के पिताजी ने लिखा है उसमें उन्होंने लड़की छेड़ने वाला बात तो लिखा है नहीं तो उन्होंने बोला कि पिछले दिन बाइक में टकरार हुआ पिछले दिन नहीं उसी दिन हुआ टकरार उसी दिन सुबह को हुआ था सुबह दिन उसी टाइम हुआ था जब पंद्रह मिनट आपके तहकीकात में अब तक क्या निकला है सर क्या हुआ था क्योंकि दोनों तरफ से दो वो लोग अपना वर्जन दे रहे हैं Somewhere along the line, what could have been a clash between two village hotheads turned into a narrative of Hindu women under threat from Muslim men. Not surprising in a communally charged Uttar Pradesh, but surprising in the Jat heartland where the two dominant communities, the Jats and the Muslims, do not have a history of active animosity. 
from from 60s from 60s onwards when chaudhry charan singh emerged in in western up politics the it was the peasantry it was the muslim and the jat peasantry and other peasantry which came together under the leadership of uh, chaudhry charan singh it was all over up but in western up because jats and muslims are the dominant group